Have you ever wondered why the bustling streets of India, once synonymous with large bustling families, are now witnessing a significant decline in birth rates? It's a phenomenon that has caught the attention of policymakers, demographers, and social scientists alike. In this video, we delve into the intriguing question of why Indians are having fewer babies and what it means for us all. Welcome, and let's get started. All right, let's kick things off by taking a closer look at the demographic trends unfolding across India. You see, India's population story is large, with its fair share of ups and downs. For a long time, it was all about the ups, rapid population growth, booming birth rates, and a ballooning population that seemed to defy gravity. But now, we're starting to see a change in direction. So, what's the deal with these demographic shifts? Well, to understand that, we need to zoom out and look at the bigger picture. India, like many countries, has been going through what's known as the demographic transition. Now, don't worry, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Essentially, it's a fancy way of saying that as societies develop, their birth and death rates change, leading to shifts in population size and structure. Back in the day, India was in the midst of what demographers call stage two of the demographic transition. Birth rates were high, death rates were falling, and the population was growing like crazy. But as the country continued to develop, economically, socially, and technologically, things started to shift. Today, India finds itself somewhere between stage two and stage three of the demographic transition. Birth rates are still relatively high compared to some other countries, but they're definitely on the decline. And that's where things get interesting. You see, there are a whole bunch of factors driving this decline in birth rates. One is urbanization. As more and more people flock to cities in search of better opportunities, they're bringing along their attitudes towards family size. In urban areas, it's often more expensive to raise a big family. What with the higher cost of living, limited space, and all that jazz. Plus, there's this whole cultural shift happening, with folks valuing education careers, and personal freedom over having a dozen kids. But it's not just urbanization that's shaking things up. Education plays a huge role too. When people, especially women, have access to education, they tend to have fewer children. It's not rocket science. Educated folks are more likely to delay marriage, plan their families, and use contraception. And with education levels on the rise in India, it's no wonder birth rates are feeling the squeeze. Be sure to give this video a like if you are enjoying the content. Now that we've got a handle on the demographic trends shaping India's population, let's dive into something equally fascinating, changing social norms. Yep, that's right. The way we think about family, marriage, and parenthood is evolving faster than you can say arranged marriage. You see, India's cultural landscape is undergoing a seismic shift. Traditional values are bumping up against modern ideals, and the result is a kaleidoscope of attitudes toward family planning and parenthood. Take marriage, for example. Once upon a time, getting hitched and popping out a dozen kids was the norm. But these days, more and more young people are putting off marriage, or skipping it altogether, in favor of pursuing their dreams, whether that's building a career, traveling the world, or simply enjoying their independence. And speaking of careers, let's talk about women in the workforce. Back in the day, a woman's place was often seen as being in the home, raising kids and taking care of the family. But today, women in India are breaking barriers left and right, entering fields once dominated by men and shattering glass ceilings like nobody's business. And with that newfound independence often comes a desire to delay marriage and childbirth, focusing instead on building a career and establishing themselves in the world. Of course, it's not just women who are redefining traditional roles. Men too are challenging societal norms, embracing their role as equal partners in both the household and the workforce. And with changing gender dynamics comes a shift in attitudes towards family size and planning. But it's not just economic factors driving these changes, it's also the influence of media, technology, and globalization. With the rise of social media and the internet, young people in India are more connected than ever before exposed to a wide range of ideas and lifestyles from around the world. And as traditional values clash with these new influences, the result is a cultural melting pot where anything is possible. But amidst all this change, there's still one thing that hasn't quite caught up, the stigma associated with childlessness and alternative family structures. Despite all the progress we've made, there's still a lingering belief that marriage and parenthood are essential for a fulfilling life. And for those who choose a different path, 
whether by choice or circumstance. The pressure to conform can be overwhelming. But here's the thing. Times are changing, and so are our attitudes towards family, marriage, and parenthood. Whether you're a single parent, a childless couple, or part of a non-traditional family, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to happiness. And as India continues to evolve, so too will our understanding of what it means to build a fulfilling life. One that's defined not by tradition, but by choice and authenticity. It is clear that government policies also play a crucial role in shaping population trends. From family planning initiatives to public health campaigns, the government has a significant impact on how individuals and families make decisions about their reproductive choices. In India, government programs aimed at promoting family planning and reproductive health have been in place for decades. These initiatives include everything from providing access to contraceptives and reproductive health services to offering incentives for couples to have fewer children. One notable example is the two-child policy, which aims to curb population growth by offering benefits and incentives to families who voluntarily limit their family size. But while these policies may seem well-intentioned, they're not without their criticisms and challenges. Implementation and enforcement can be tricky, especially in a country as diverse and populous as India. And then there's the issue of accessibility. Not everyone has equal access to family planning services and information, particularly in rural and remote areas. Now let's shift our focus to the implications of declining birth rates on various aspects of Indian society and the future outlook. This demographic shift has far-reaching consequences that extend beyond just the size of the population. Firstly, let's talk economics. With fewer babies being born, we're looking at a smaller workforce in the future. This could lead to labor shortages, impacting productivity and economic growth. Additionally, as the population ages, there will be an increased burden on pension systems and healthcare infrastructure. The dependency ratio, the ratio of working age people to dependents, will also be skewed, putting pressure on those who are still in the workforce to support a larger elderly population. Speaking of aging populations, that brings us to healthcare. As people live longer, there will be greater demand for healthcare services, from geriatric care to long-term care facilities. This poses significant challenges for a country like India, where healthcare resources are already stretched thin. But it's not just about economics and healthcare, there are environmental implications too. With a smaller population, there's less strain on natural resources and ecosystems. This could potentially lead to a more sustainable future, with reduced pressure on land, water, and energy resources. However, it's important to note that this also depends on how development is managed and whether sustainable practices are adopted. So what does all of this mean for the future of India? Well, it's hard to say for sure, but there are a few potential scenarios we can consider. One possibility is that policymakers may need to rethink their approach to issues, like family planning and social welfare. Instead of focusing solely on population control, there may be a shift towards policies that support families, encourage workforce participation, and provide adequate support for the elderly. Another scenario is that we may see a greater emphasis on innovation and technology to address the challenges posed by a shrinking workforce and an aging population. From automation to ad-driven solutions, there's a world of possibilities for how we can adapt to these demographic changes. And that is a wrap. We've explored the fascinating phenomenon of declining birth rates in India and its wide-ranging implications. Thank you for joining us on this journey through demographics, social norms, government policies, and future outlooks. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to give it a like, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, stay curious.